We're delighted to be involved in the Stop the Loss campaign. As a retailer, um, we've got a stated position of being able to demonstrate being the most sustainable uh, high street retailer by 2015. And part of that is very much working with our supply base to increase um, the animal health and welfare um, within our supply chains and also the efficiency of production. And clearly, um, young stock uh, not getting into the supply chain as an issue both in terms of welfare and an issue in terms of profitability for the sectors. Well, I think you have two different um, areas where this is important. One, purely from a health and welfare point of view, you know, animals not actually reaching their potential, not getting into the food supply chain is a major issue for everybody. Um, consumers expect livestock to be reared when they possibly can and um, you know, a, a loss of more than 8% is unacceptable to them. But I think also from a farm efficiency point of view as well, if you look at any production system in any sector, then we all in the supply chain need to be working collaboratively to optimise that. And again, that's where having an unacceptable loss at the bottom end can affect the profitability and viability of the sector moving forward. At March and Spencer's we've got our own Farming for the Future policy which is very much a programme of activity around increasing the sustainability in our supply chains. Part of that is ensuring that we've got the correct codes of practice in place that allow our producers to make informed choices that optimise their systems, both in terms of profitability and very much in terms of improving health and welfare. So the Stop the Loss campaign fits neatly with our uh, vision in trying to increase both those areas to the benefit of the producers and ultimately to the benefit of us as a retailer and more importantly for our consumers. Um, we, we believe that having um, key performance indicators that the industry can measure itself against you know, in a benchmarking exercise is sensible. So the 24 month uh, point is important to us simply because it's a way of measuring improvement over a period of time. And we know that if you can't measure, you can't monitor, and it's very difficult to make improvement.